Life-changing Tacos Dorado. It's actually very, very easy to make. So we're going to start just by sauteing some onions. Turn on my handy dandy pan. I have about a half a tablespoon of oil in here. If you don't use oil, you could saute with water. All right, so my, carrot, my uh, onions are going in. And I just want these to get a little bit of color. So I'm just going to cook these for a few minutes. While those cook, I'm just going to prep some ingredients for the inside of our tacos. I'm just going to chop up some tomatoes so we can have that ready. You guys, this recipe is so good. I've been like dying all day to film this so that I could eat these tacos. Stuff those in our tacos at the end. And I'm just going to shred a little bit of lettuce. I don't eat a lot of iceberg lettuce, but for something like this, it just works really well. thin slivers of this lettuce. I don't know what it is about shredded lettuce. I love it so much. The rare times that I eat like a sandwich or a burger, I really love shre um, shredded lettuce on it. You can see that little bit that's getting color. There's more color than you can tell though. Cook this for another minute. All right, I'm going to turn this down a little bit and throw in some. Um, this is just three garlic cloves that I chopped. I just want to cook this until they start getting fragrant. two tablespoons of tomato paste. This is going to kind of pump up the flavor and the umami of this. And I just want to cook this a little bit. Just want to mix that in. I'm going to throw in my seasonings. I've got some cumin, some onion powder, and some chili powder. you could use what you like. You could use a, um, you could use a two cups of rehydrated TVP. You could shred some tofu. I bet that would be really awesome in this. Turn my temp up again. This cooktop is so sensitive. It gets really hot and then it gets really cool by barely adjusting it. So I just want this to cook just, you know, just a little bit to integrate these flavors into the lentils. Um, you could also use like a, 
beyond ground what else there's you could do like a walnut mixture there's so many things that you could use for the meat you definitely don't have to use lentils you know before i went plant-based i didn't really care for lentils but now i'm just so used to them i do actually i really like the flavor of lentils let me give this a little taste wow that's really good i'm gonna put a little just a little bit of salt in here probably like a quarter of a teaspoon you do not have to use salt if you don't want to use salt you could leave it out the vast majority of my recipes can be made SOS free. Man, oh man. I can't wait for another bite of this. This is really, really good. But not as good as it's going to be when uh, we make those tacos. Mmm. Man. It's so delicious. All right. I'm going to turn my stove top off. The second part of this is to mix this with cheese. I made a cheese sauce. Um, I'm going to link the recipe for that cheese sauce below. It's, I think it's a really great. It has a lot of flavor. I'm going to put in half a cup. I've just got some um, hatch chilies that I cut up and put on the top. You definitely don't have to do that either. But you guys could use a store cheese if you wanted to. Something that melts. This kind of lets everything adhere together when we make the taco. This is such a fast recipe, you guys. I've been doing a lot of fast recipes lately. I really like that. Who doesn't want to, you know, be done cooking quickly? I think we all do. I better give that another taste because, you know, got to make sure it tastes good. It's so good. Do you want to taste this meat? Yes. Come on. I know the taco's not ready yet, but I think you want to taste it. Say hi. Hi. make you happy? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to be life-changing? It's life-changing. Okay, Thank time you. to make tacos. Can I come back and eat that too? Yes. Thank you. So I'm using corn tortillas for this. I think that they're traditional, but honestly, I don't know that for a fact. Um, and I don't use flour tortillas because I'm celiac, so it's corn tortillas for me no matter what. So I'm just going to put these in the microwave for 30 seconds. If you tried to fill this tortilla and bend it over, it will likely break. So you want to work with warm tortillas. You could also put this in the oven on a low temperature, but if you do the oven, you really have to be careful that you don't dry it out. My tortillas are warm, and I'm just going to fill them all real quick before I cook them. It's just the easiest way to, to do this recipe. You do not want to put too much meat sauce into this. We're talking about two tablespoons max, maybe one and a half tablespoons. So just fill them and give them a little close. If any meat, anything comes out, just put it back in the mixture. This one is breaking. I'm going to heat these up a little bit more. Back at it. Let's try this again. You know, those people that have cooking shows, man, they must have to stop and fix things a million times. They're not just like doing things once and that it's perfect. I watched Jamie Oliver make something the other day, and I could tell his finished product wasn't even the one that he was cooking. <laughs> so the first one I made totally broke because it really wasn't warm enough. I'm going to taste that. Still very good. Sorry, I'm so hungry today. I'm so hungry today. All right, let's make these tacos. 
Hope everybody is doing well. I always miss people when I record this video without my people in the chat. I really love having people in the chat. It just, honestly, it just makes me so happy. I'll be so excited when this channel grows more and I could have more, whoo, that one's kind of hot, and I can have more people in the chat. I'm just, you know, i just excited about meeting people and hanging out with people. taco shell is steaming. It was like the top one didn't really get warm, but the ones on the inside really, really did. Hooey. It's just a lot easier to fill these guys ahead of time and then cook them than to fill them as you go. exactly the right number of tortillas. How's that possible? How's that possible? So it made 12. It made 12 tacos. Obviously, if you put less in it, you know, they would make more. I am going to cook these on in my stainless steel pan. I have a half tablespoon of oil in this pan. I will probably need more. If you cook them this way with the oil, you're going to need a neutral oil. When I watched recipes for how people made these, they used like an inch of oil. So it seems to me that traditionally they are really fried and I almost want to say deep fried. I'm not going to do that. I really like to minimize the amount of oil I use. But I think that you could cook them in the oven. I would probably try 450, maybe do five minutes, flip them over for two minutes. I don't know. Try one, see how it works, lower the temperature if you need it. I think they would work really well in an air fryer. I don't use an air fryer, but if anyone does try them in an air fryer, I would love to see how it goes. All right, are we recording? I'm going to try this again. Okay, we got a little sizzle going on, which is what we want. We definitely don't want this to smoke, cook too fast. So my tortilla from the other package, you can see it's it's just not holding together like the other type that I had. I think this, the first one is a mission and this is like a store brand or something. I just wanted to see what something else was like. And it doesn't, I don't know, we'll see what happens when it cooks, but it's not holding together super well. Tacos dorado, uh, that means, dorado means golden. So you're supposed to cook the tacos until they are golden. You know, this is a corn tortilla, so we want it to be crunchy, right? That is the goal, to make this a crunchy taco. You guys, I've been eating tacos all week while I've been trying out some different things. It is has been so nice to eat tacos all week. Like, it just makes your life so happy just to eat tacos for a whole week. It's so good. All right, I'm going to flip this guy. He's got a little, little brown on the outside. Let me check the other ones. This one could use a little bit longer. This one's ready to flip. I'm probably just going to speed through, like, a lot of this when I edit it. You are? Since I'm not using much oil, I definitely... 
definitely want to keep that oil moving around a little bit. You don't want the insides of your taco to fall out because that's not good. It's going to happen anyways, probably. Okay, I'm going to take this guy off. This is what he looks like. Very pretty looking. Let me throw one of these other ones in and see how this guy does. I'm really curious. This one's done. Whew. I'm going to put a little bit more oil in. I'm going to turn it today we're gonna do some hot sauce because when I tasted when I tested these it just tasted so good here you go here's yours and I'm gonna fix mine it's hot be careful yeah put some Cholula in there man oh my god I'm dropping tacos I mean I'm not dropping tacos Whew. Okay, you want to move the camera? Oh, God, this is so hot. All right. Ready? Yep. Mm. So good. Oh, so good. Do you love that? Yes, good job. So you got one, and 11 are mine. Is that a good deal? That's so good. Really. Well, you always let me walk away with the plate in the show, so I'm going to walk away with this plate. No way. No way, man. You can always add extra cheese, right? You could add anything you want. Let's try that. Mm-hmm. Delicious. I'm making a mess. Yeah, they're a little bit messy for sure. But we are done cooking. And I just wanted to let you guys know that Meatless Movement did put out a piece on me. The website is meatlessmovement.org. I'm going to put a link below to the article. If you'd like to read it, that would be cool. And next week on, what's the date going to be next Thursday? Next Thursday, August 20, 24th, I will be live. I want to say 6 p.m. Eastern, but honestly, I am considering pushing the time back a little bit. 
either way, because now that school is in, it's actually going to be harder to film at 4 o'clock where I live. It's just a weird time. So I might push it back. I have to consider it. Either way, I will put it on the community page on YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Sharing is caring.